What is up, YouTube? Gonna get here back at it with the My League Simulation Full Career Simulation. And uh, as you guys already probably saw, we are simulating Jalen Brown's entire career from this point forward. But like always, make sure to drop a like if you enjoy the content. Make sure to comment down below what player you'd like to see me simulate next, their entire career. Subscribe if you are new or you enjoy the, the, the rebuilds, the simulations. But let's get to it. Jalen Brown, shooting guard for the Boston Celtics, 23 years old, on contract for five more seasons, technically half the remaining of this season on his rookie scale, and then making absolute bank. Um, he's only made, I believe, an all-rookie second team. Some people thought, you know, should have made an all-star team this season, which he didn't, right? I think Jason Tatum's the one that made the all-star team, and Kemba. But the man this season is averaging 20 points, six and a half rebounds, 2.2 assists, 1.1 steals, 0.3 blocks on very efficient numbers so far. I believe he's got 20 badges. I think I checked it out already. 20 badges. He's got showtime on gold. See how many badges he gets. 23 years old. See how high he gets in his overall. But we will go ahead and see that. See if he wins a championship. I don't think, spoiler alert, Jason Tatum won in my entire simulation with him. But we'll see what Jalen Brown has in store for us. Simulate the remaining of the remainder of the season. You never know. Simulation might be on our side. Give us a championship year one. Giannis is the MVP. Morant is the rookie of the year. Dennis wins sixth man. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, defensive player. Bam, most improved. And Mike Bodenhoser wins coach of the year. We finished 54 and 28. No Celtics on any team. Uh, we mainly only care about Jalen Brown, of course. Uh, season stats. See where he finished. 18.4, six and a half. So his... Uh, scoring goes down. I think Tatum's went down as well. Uh, maybe Hayward's went up a little bit more, but 20 point scores right here. See what they do in these playoffs. Of course, 50% uh, from the field already, 37%. Okay, and 76 from the free throw line. We'll see how we improve season after season because he's here with Boston for at least four more. Up against Indiana, and they get, okay, a little sweep. A little sweep. They should not have KD quite yet. They do have Kyrie, of course. Uh, okay, we'll see what happens. For... Oh, my gosh. They're in the water finals. The classic Laker-Celtic finals. What happens here? I have no idea. Okay, honestly, I saw that coming. 4 2 us. LeBron James... Pretty monstrous triple double right there with a great efficiency. Four to us. Got to the finals. That was our chance to win an early championship. We'll see if it happens again. Um, I get that the first season usually it doesn't progress uh well, especially in start today, and then you only simulate for half of the season. Um, but only Tatum went up one. Badges go up to 24. Now he's got consistent finisher on gold. I don't know, obviously, what was added to the initial 20 um has four on uh four defensive badges on silver so keep improving bro hopefully he'll reach like a 92 honestly a 95 a 95 he's still only 24 years old he's still got a lot of time to improve but here's the boston celtic lineup year number two or i guess the first actual first season that i'm simulating they signed mcgee Still got Marcus Smart, Robert Williams down there, Grant Williams, uh, Trendon Watford, and, and yeah, yeah, we we'll go from there. See you guys at the end of season number two. Does he make an all-star team? What happens this season? We'll see. He still obviously only made it second team all-rookie, but finally his big contract kicks in. Four more seasons at least, unless they trade him away with the Celtics. Giannis again, MVP. He'll probably end up with the Spurs like always. Uh, James Wiseman, rookie of the year. Dennis, sixth man, defensive player, goes to Kawhi. Markel, most improved coach of the year. Again, Mike, um, and we finished 49, uh, 49 and 33. No Celtics once again. Uh, they finished fourth. But what did our guy do? Jalen, 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 second leading scorer on the team. 18, 6.7 rebounds, 2.1 assists, 1.2 steals. Eventually, he's got to make a defensive team, right? He's got to. 53%, 36% from three, 81% from the free throw line. Uh, and we'll see if he made an all-star team. He did not. He did not make an all-star team. We'll see what happens in these playoffs. I don't think a championship is going to happen. We are going to lose to the Charlotte Hornets. They got Demarcus, Malik Monk, Jabari, uh, Anthony Edwards. Okay, okay. Devontae, PJ Washington, Cody Zeller, Miles. 
Yeah, I mean, it makes all the difference in the world when you have, uh, especially that downloaded draft class, Anthony Edwards. The Hawks end up winning a championship already. He averages 40 in the finals in four games. Look at those shooting numbers. You crazy. Oh, and it was with the Pelicans. Okay, just a super young, super young finals. Let's go. Tatum goes up three. Brown goes up three. And uh, hopefully, eventually, somehow we surpass Tatum. But is it going to happen? I don't know. They sign McConnell, the guy that they signed last season. And McGee starts going down. It makes sense. He's 33 years old. Okay. Okay. Um, the bench is still iffy. The starters are getting better in Tatum and Brown. And the, the vets are not getting worse, uh, at least in their overall. So that's good, I guess. Stays at 24 badges, but uh, improvements in his clan off ball past tireless defender so his badges are just improving another gold here in finishing as well slowly but surely improving he finally goes up from an 85 to an 88 uh all-star team please need to start racking up some some accolades if he's trying to make the hall of fame kemba Jalen, gordon tatum uh robert williams smart mcconnell mcgee romeo langford and Tr tremont water so is okay not a horrible bench. I wish they were at least to run a nine-man rotation, but we are not in charge of that. Second full season, technically third season. We're simulating. We'll see where he ends up. Clearly still three seasons. Three seasons still left on his contract. If they trade him, they trade him. I don't think they will. He either walks or he resigns. But this team technically is not getting better while all the other teams are probably becoming like super teams with their youth. Giannis MVP again, Rookie of the Year, Bull Bull, DeMarcus Cousins, sixth man. Giannis, Defensive Player of the Year. Theo wins Most Improved Player. Kenny Atkinson, 60 and 22 for, for the Nets. But we finished 55 and 27, which is better than last season. And I think like same as the first i think second leading score on the team tatum is scoring 24 a game brown 19 with 6.4 rebounds 2.3 assist 1.2 steals uh efficiency great great efficiency free throw could probably improve three-pointer could obviously improve and become absolutely elite even a 38 is really really good let's get up to tatum's numbers of 45 percent but anyways second in the conference is that enough are we good enough do we have enough great players on the team and a deep enough team no they got cole anthony paul george at the two kate cunningham at the three julius Randle, mitch robinson okay well all right then and they go on to win a championship so we technically lost to the champions no shame in that i guess Kate Cunningham, he didn't even start all the games. Jalen goes up one overall. I'm probably just going to simulate quickly these two. Uh, oh, consistent finisher goes up. Okay, okay, okay. So he gets two more badges. One's on Hall of Fame now. I need you to make an all-star. I need him to get some type of accolades. It might happen later on in his career like some of these simulations have. Like once he's 28 older maybe 30 he starts making a couple all-star teams hayward's an 82 overall meaning marcus smart is now starting at the two Jalen brown at the three so the defense should improve uh technically speaking so Jalen at the three we'll see what happens like i said he's got 26 badges now instead of 24 he's a 90 overall the bench is still a bit iffy they got a couple 80s almost three uh so uh, that's nice but then the ninth and tenth man declines quite a bit but we'll see what happens i'm gonna simulate the remainder of a celtic contract which is two more seasons hopefully makes an all-star team at least once out of those two seasons Obviously, if we reach the finals, I'll show you guys if we do something crazy. If he makes an all-NBA team, if he makes an all-defensive team, I'll show you guys. But I'm more interested to see if he stays, if he leaves, what happens with Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, out of nowhere, at the age of 27, goes up three. He's been, like, consistently going up by one overall, and now he goes up three. Okay, fine. And Tatum's gone, too. So after Tatum's contract, he left. Uh, and Jalen Brown looks to have resigned. He's at 27 badges, a couple of Hall of Fame badges all around. No All Star team in those two seasons. I think we made it to the second round at most in that second or that final contract uh, season. But now it's his team. Uh, we'll see what kind of numbers he puts up. He technically should be the one getting the most touches, maybe after Kemba or Kemba gets the second most touches, but. 
His points will go up. Maybe an all-star team finally this season now that Tatum is gone. But this team does not look great. Uh, and he's stuck here for quite a long time. I think it might be another simulation without a championship. This is the lineup. Kemba, Marcus Smart, Jalen, uh, Jarrell Brantley, Robert Williams, Gordon Hayward's the sixth man, Angelo's the seventh man, Jonathan Williams, the eighth man, Cole McDaniel's the ninth, and Ken Birch, the tenth man. Playoff team, sure contenders i don't think so we'll see what happens uh hopefully jalen puts up some nu some some nutty numbers but gonna start simulating until something happens like i said he's still a celtic if we if, if, if the boston celtic signs some type of help for him i'll show you guys that if he makes an all-star team i'll let you guys in on it uh if he makes an all nba team all defensive team that's what i'm waiting on anything anything other than a championship of course a championship is huge but uh i need some accolades for my mans just like i thought he made, he's the number one he's the leading scorer for the team 25.6 is he doing it efficiently he is absolutely freaking is he's getting 5.8 rebounds 2.3 assists 1.3 steals he should have made an all-star team even if we didn't make the playoffs we did not make the playoffs he does not make an all-star team we're 43 and 39 that is so tragic that honestly really really sucks um it's his team now no all-star team no nothing and just great stats just to continue simulating until something actually happens with us just to get y'all up to speed um terry's back jalen brown's a 96 oh i think wait didn't he go down i'm pretty i don't know i thought it said he started declining but he was a 96 so i think 96 might be his peak 96 overall jalen um hasn't made an all-star team has played very very well 22 26 25.6 points a game after tatum has left um obviously i haven't I've made the playoffs once i think 28 total badges that's all i'm getting you guys up to date right now because it's his last season unless he accepts that player option to, to to return to boston or he goes to another team or boston gives him another major contract we'll see what happens but the man needs help this is bad and jalen's back for at least three more seasons until he's 33 years old the man is loyal to the soil um and yeah extremely loyal financial security extremely important play for winner important not extremely important so they got Michael Porter Jr. on the team now, meaning he's probably not going to score 26 a game like he has been. Uh, will they make the playoffs now? I don't know. Robert Williams goes down two already. Uh, they got Arvidas. They got... Yeah, these dudes. I don't think he's going to win anything in his career. He hasn't made an all-star team, even though he's been averaging dang near 26 points a game for three seasons. Um, like, come on. Are you kidding me? Just a second team all rookie. 73 overall point guard. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. is an 88. Uh, okay, yeah, we we suck. We suck. Um, I'll see you guys probably at the end of this contract as well because nothing is going to happen. Not with this team. Jalen Brown has finally moved on. I'm guessing the Celtics did not want to re-sign him and Detroit gave him the bigger bag. They gave him the bigger bag. He's here for what? Three seasons, two seasons at least minimum. He's here with Ingram. He's here with this dude, Paris Dunn, uh, Clark Galloway, Darius Baisley. Um, so I, I, technically this team's better. A lot of 80s as well. A lot of 80s. So technically a deeper team. We'll see what happens with these two seasons obviously he started declining he's a 93 overall after hitting what a 96 97 this is the lineup with the pistons i'll show you guys if he may <laughs> yeah still hasn't made any type of team he still has not made any type of team the last couple of seasons he scored under 20 points for the boston celtics um of course he had a few seasons of 25 plus uh and 22 23 plus so don't know if he's going to put up bigger numbers with these with these Pistons, especially since they have Ingram, but we'll see. The starting lineup doesn't look terrible. An 85 off the bench, an 83, an 82, an 81. Like, that's pretty freaking solid. And a nine-man rotation. Maybe it stands a chance. I don't think so because these other teams have absolutely ridiculous players like the Pelicans with Zion. Uh, yeah, you get it. You get it. There's stupid, ridiculous teams out here. I don't think this is one of them. Jalen Brown is finally retired after I don't know how many seasons of not making the playoffs with the Pistons. Pretty much every season, I'm pretty sure, except for one. I think one season they made it. 
if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but it was bad. It was bad. These are his final numbers with Detroit. Four seasons with them after his entire career with Boston. 18 and a half points per game, uh, 5.3 rebounds, two as assists per game, one steal a game. 0.3 blocks on pretty ridiculous shooting numbers to be completely honest with you guys and 30.8 minutes zero zero awards besides a second team all rookie i think he got robbed especially a couple seasons with uh boston here he averaged 25.8 25.9 with six rebounds three assists a steal stupid shooting numbers come on bro robbed hall of fame inductees not there not a hall of famer does he finish on any top list he is a top 50 score of all time he is 32nd 32nd uh, i mean that's not enough though it wouldn't be enough top 33 point shooter of all time or three point maker i guess and he finishes in the top 60 of all time steals so he's made he made a couple of lists all time steals list top 100 obviously top 60 top 35 score three points made top 30 so he he made some he made some lists no awards though that's what held him back from being a a, a hall of famer final thing we check his game highs all time 55 points uh field goals made 23 three pointers made he made nine in the game free throws 17 15 rebounds in the game 10 assists in the game, 5 steals in the game, 3 blocks in the game, and 55 minutes played. But there you guys have it. There is Jalen Brown's career. Finishes it off with Detroit for 4 seasons. No real success whatsoever throughout his entire career. First season made it to the finals. Uh, but that's it. That's literally it. No all-star games. Uh, very, very good score. But unfortunately, <laughs> Jason Tatum's Jalen Brown Sims were not my, my luckiest. But like always, if you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment down below what player you'd like to see next. If you are new, you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.